For a second there, I think I forgot who I am. Uh, I am Mr. Simons, and in this video, we're gonna look at how you measure inflation. In terms of this video, we're gonna look at three things. We're gonna take you through the formula for inflation. We're gonna look at these really important concepts of headline versus core inflation. And then we'll do a practice question. If we're looking at this, we have to start with the idea of the consumer price index. So if you have not heard of it before, the CPI summarizes the movement of different prices in the economy. There's a really great video that I did uh, that talks through in more detail what the CPI is, and you can view it by clicking on that little button above my head that should be displayed right now, right now. Okay, so what we do is we take the CPI, which very quickly is like a basket of goods that tracks movements in all different goods in society to see the general level of prices, and we compare it between the years. So if we're looking at a formula, this is what we're going to use. So the inflation rate is simply the CPI for the current year minus the CPI for the previous year over the CPI for the previous year. You might have spotted it. It's just a simple percentage change calculation. But that's how we measure inflation between different years. So let's do an example. Here's the question. Calculate the rate of inflation where the CPI in year one was 120 and the CPI was 129 in year two. Okay, cool. I think we can manage this. I like to start by writing out the formulas. It helps me get the process down pat. And that's how you do it. Let's expand our discussion about measuring inflation a little bit further. What we need to do is we need to distinguish between these two terms. It's really important in economics. Headline inflation versus core or underline. When we talk about headline inflation, we're kind of talking about all of the inflation in an economy. It's like the, the headline for a story. So it's a measure of total inflation within an economy. The thing is though, that when we include everything in an economy, that we might get sort of volatile or sort of one-off movements in prices because we're just looking at all prices. So headline inflation is quite a volatile number and it's prone to inflationary spikes or one-off inflationary movements. So instead, what we have is another measure called core inflation, sometimes also called underlying inflation. This gives us a more accurate measure of prices. And what it does is it takes out one-off or you know, sort of volatile components at the top and the bottom to give us a more accurate picture of what is happening with inflation in an economy. So we've got headline, which is everything, and core inflation, which excludes some of the more volatile components to give a more accurate measure of inflation in an economy. So let's tackle an example. I've got my calculator here next to me so I don't have to leave the room again. So this is from the 2014 HSC. So you can see here the question asks, what is the inflation rate in this economy for 2013? So let's put down the formula and let's work this out. If you got a question like this in your end of year exam, this would be a gift. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you got a huge amount out of this video, particularly about that difference between core and headline inflation. Um, subscribe, leave us a comment, tell me what you think, uh, and thanks for watching.